Okay, this is BG doing another quick overview of the Kawasaki Vulcan, all done. First, I want to show you the little scooter I bought, 150cc, little scooter with a trunk. I bought it for my wife to try to uh, get her to ride, and uh, I put this little phone holder on it. It holds the phone really good, it's really, really sturdy goes right under your mirror it's pretty cool uh, 328 miles and I put on 327 of them <laughs> put a little cup holder down there it's pretty cool this thing does about 62 63 with me on it I've had it up to 65 before but that's going down a hill and then we'll get back over to this so we're gonna start in the front First of all, I painted this bike. This bike, when I bought it, was red and like an ivory color. Really didn't like it. You'll see down there, I got the wheel from uh, Rowing Toys. Uh, powder coated the calipers, powder coated the rotors, uh, forks. Uh, same fender. It's just uh, they added that extension on to use my same fender. And then I painted the, fen the uh, bike like a black sparkly metallic. Also painted the lowers. Put some LED turn signals with the smoked. Um, I actually had to get these from Europe. I couldn't find any smoked signals for this bike. Put a Daymaker LED headlight in it. Memphis Shades back win bat wing fairing. Uh, clear, view uh, clear view windshield. They custom made this windshield with a vent for me and I'm absolutely 100% uh, satisfied. It's fantastic. It eliminates, I have zero head buffeting, zero. Not 2%, 0%, which is fantastic. I hated the bufferting. Um, get down here, highway pegs, highway bar, LED spotlights. They also strobe, they, they dim, they go very bright. Um, did a lot of work to this bike. Takayu hard saddlebags, okay? Um, Sakayu, Takayu, however you want to mention their name. I think it did, they, these are just the regular strong saddlebags. Um, sissy bar with the luggage rack. I put a cup holder back here for my wife. Uh, it was a mirror mounted cup holder. Obviously, I just put a lock nut with some uh, lock nut with some Loctite on it, and it is very sturdy. It hasn't moved at all. I put LED lights in the back of this bike. You can see them at the bottom of the saddlebags as well as um, at the top. I turned everything into a run, break, and turn. So all of my lights are working. They're running. I'm going to turn it on and show you. Which is pretty cool, man, because it really, really makes a difference. And then when I hit the brake, all of those lights strobe. Really, really, really bright. So you're not going to miss me coming down the road. Uh, what else? Mustang seat, passenger backrest, driver backrest. And what you just heard was the alarm. It's the Scorpio i900 motorcycle alarm. It's fantastic. I've had this for almost a year. I don't know if you've seen my first video that I did. Um, if you go near the bike, you can set it to uh, your proximity sensor. You can set it to, uh, you know, 10 feet, 8 feet, 6 feet, 4 feet, 2 feet. It works great. If somebody hits the bike, it, it sends off a shock. Not only will the alarm go off on the bike, but it will also notify me on my keys. If somebody tilts the bike off the kickstand, it will say tilt. Um, if somebody tries to hotwire my bike, first of all, the bike will not start. Without me next to it, this is a key fob. So without me next to the bike, it will not work. So I really like the, uh, the Scorpio i900 motorcycle on. Uh, Karyak in air intake system. I wasn't really too fond of that. I might switch to a Roaring Toys. Um, it's great and everything. I just, uh, I think I want to do a black one uh, kind of to match the rim. Uh, Karyak in passenger floorboards. Karyak in front, front floorboards. Cobra Speedster exhaust, Michelin Commander two tires, front and rear, and we'll move up. Now, the front part of this is a kind of, I don't know if it's kind of like a too much. I, I'm still debating on taking some stuff off, but number one, the cruise control. 
cruise control, these particular bikes don't have cruise control. Now, the Kawasaki Vulcan Nomad, the Voyager, and the Vaquero have cruise control, but the Classic does not. See, the other cruise control would be right under here. It would say, you know, cruise control. All I have is the modes. So what I did is I bought this Atlas cruise control. Now, I also have the um, breakaway cruise control that I put on my stepfather's bike. That's a very good unit but I did not want anything to take up any space. So when I'm driving down the highway, all you gotta do is just hit that button and you're good. You know, press the button down and it goes away. I mean, it's really a great unit. It was uh, about 80 bucks, I believe. They got it to me in like two days. I'm very impressed with that. I like it. Um, if this thing would focus. I don't know why it's not. That's really weird. Oh, you know what? That was my fault. <laughs> anyway, so moving right here, I got the Boss Bluetooth, uh, I believe it's 600 watt. It was the uh, 420B, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is a Kawasaki tachometer, my 12 volt, and these Boss audio um, speakers are fantastic. Now, over here, it came with a volume control, which is this little knob right here. You can turn it up and down. Uh, what I did, because when I'm driving down the road, I'm, you know, you can't switch songs. So I went out on an Amazon, and I got this little Bluetooth controller. If this thing will zoom. There we go. Oh. Okay. So this thing is Bluetooth. I put it there with some 3M tape. It's very sturdy and it's not going anywhere. So when I'm driving down the road, I can simply just switch my channels, pause, play. It also works the volume, but I like this one better. It's, it's um, a lot easier to use. Uh, as well as the cup holder up front, cup holder in the back, and my cell phone holder. Now I had a cell phone holder that was back here, but when I put the speakers on, I could not see the cell phone anymore. So I actually just put that cell phone holder on today. I ordered two of them from Amazon. They were cheap. The reason why I got it was because of the scooter. I got, this was specifically made for Mera mounts. I put it on my scooter. Now I drove the scooter today with that, with my Note 7 in there doing 65 miles an hour over bumps and everything and it did not move. So I said, okay. And I put one on the motorcycle. I don't know if I like it yet. I'll let you know when I take my first ride later today. Now, when we open up the saddlebags, this is what I used to have. Well, no, I don't want to say used to. I, I still have it. It clips right there. It, it, I rode 450 miles yesterday, you know, 80, 90 miles an hour. It doesn't move. It's great. It also has the little compartment for, you know, chargers or something like that or whatever you want, you know. So I like this. For now, it will go back in the bags. Inside the saddlebags, as you can see, they're all carpet lined. Uh, comes with an LED light in there so you know you can see everything um, I also I have another one this was my old one but I'm gonna keep them in there just in case I have a little bag right here keep all my registrations and stuff in there these are lockable saddle bags um, I, I do like the saddle bags a lot I really do I think they're really really nice um, and that is about it this bike was dyno tuned for about four hours um, I believe I have the paperwork inside, but I believe it has, I don't want to give you the wrong answer. I'm pretty sure it was 111 horsepower and 120, you know what? I think it was 101 horsepower and 122 pound feet of torque, something like that. 111 horsepower and 120 something pound feet of torque. It's, uh, it moves, you know, it gets up and moves, you know, I'll, I'll take any, any Harley. I don't care if it's a CVO street light, you come see me with some money and we'll, we'll get it on. Other than that, um, just the pouches up there. Um, this came from uh, men for shades. Really cool. I keep my sunglasses in here, some change, uh, lighter, stuff like that. Oh, empty for my cigarettes or whatever I, whatever I have in here, big zipper. I have like a flashlight, spare charger towel, uh, some windshield cleaner, stuff like that, um, then, and that is about it, you know, I'm, I'm one of the people that, uh, 
you know, I like to ride and I like to be safe. So in this other saddlebag over here, I keep pretty much here, I'm gonna open it for you, but I keep pretty much everything that you're gonna need. If, ooh, I dropped my keys. Everything that you're gonna need if something happens. Okay, and what I mean by that, I got my rain suit, I have a chamois, I have some rain boots right there, and then under this, I have, this is a battery pack. Uh, it will jump your bike, it will even jump a car. It's a portable charger. Now in that case as well, I also have a tire pump that will pump up a flat tire. In here, I have tools, tire patch kits, everything that you're gonna need. Um, you know, so for example, you know, I was riding to uh, Cafe 27 the other day and uh, somebody was on the side of the road. Actually, there was about three or four bikes on the side of the road. And of course, you know, I'll pull up and, and ask them if they need any help. And, and one of them had a flat tire. They had a nail in the tire. And, you know, the people did have a, uh, they did have a tire plug, but they didn't have anything to, uh, to pump it back up. So I stopped, I pulled it out, plugged it into my 12 volt, pumped their tire back up, and we were on our way. So you never know what will happen to you or to anybody that you ride with. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about the Vulcan, or about the scooter, um, just comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible, man. Thank you guys and enjoy.